Good evening to all Miss Philippines Earth followers joining us online. Yes, this is another group of beautiful ladies heading your way tonight. I am so excited to actually introduce our next batch of delegates competing for Miss Philippines Earth 2023. And we have with us tonight, Prof. Point Palawa, Kalaskal Turigal del Sur, Don't Isabella, Puerto Princesa City, Taguig City, Toledo City, and Tungawan Tambuanga Sibugay. Let's give them a big round of applause. I am pretty sure that you're so excited to get to know them better. And of course, hear your questions for those who actually drop the questions. You know, this event would not be made possible without the support of our major sponsors. Actually, our major sponsor for this year's Miss Philippines Earth 2023 is Hana Shampoo. Sway that youthful looking hair with new Hana Shampoo with Collagen Fula. Along with our other sponsors. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it has been the pageant's tradition to highlight different aspects of the environment each year. Hashtag Miss Philippines Earth takes on the theme Mila 23 and keeping its advocacy to care for and preserve the environment for our well-being and flourishing Miss Philippines Earth will also give emphasis on the essence and value of the trees surrounding us. This is also to remind everyone about the most powerful weapon that we have against climate change. Wow. You know, we actually posted a story and I'm pretty sure for those of you who has been watching the past two shows, you already know what's happening right here. We posted a story in Miss Philippines Earth Facebook and Instagram accounts asking you guys to throw your delegates or our delegates some questions. It may be a personal, a political, environmental, or pageantry-related question. Anything under the sun, actually. So we actually have selected two questions for each of our delegates for tonight for them to answer. And without further ado, let's get to know them better. Starting off with Miss Brooks Point Palawan. Hello, Paul. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. And how are you tonight? Uh, ito po, excited na mag ganito. <laughs> excited po. Excited tayo <laughs> magkwentuhan. <laughs> <laughs> excited din ako to get to know you at makapagkwentuhan sa'yo. So, yes. you are now in Palawan. Yes po, nasa Brooks Point po ngayon. <laughs> I want to be there. I love Palawan. Sige po, kasabi lang po kayo. <laughs> diba? <laughs> yeah, so actually, um, yeah, we have questions for you and I, I think you know already what's happening right here. Just, yeah. you know, relax and be yourself. So, are you yeah. ready for your first question? Okay, our, your first question is... From Tim LPT. Sa tingin mo, okay lang bang maging jowa ng best friend mo ang ex-boyfriend mo? Sa <laughs> tingin ko po... Okay naman po kasi meron naman tayong iba-ibang uh, uh, meron tayong iba-ibang uh, paniniwala sa pagdating ng love. Wala namang uh, ano yun kung meron kang best friend na naging yung boyfriend mo naging ex mo ang mahalaga nandun pa rin yung friendship ninyo at saka nagmamahalan sila. Diba po? <laughs> Actually yeah, I know um, a lot of uh, situations like this no happens mm. talaga in reality. And siguro yung nagpaalam naman, mukhang okay lang naman oh, kung oh, nagpaalam. Oh, oh. Diba? At saka kung finish na talaga yung relationship. Mm -hmm. Diba? Oh, oh. Kasi, oh, oh. Ka, ibig sabihin lang nun, pag nasaktan ka, may feelings ka pa. Oo, oh, oh, diba? <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, it's, it's best to avoid pa rin that situation kasi medyo complicated. Mm -hmm. Kasi syempre, yeah. with feelings and everything. Pero, minsan talagang hindi maiiwasan. Lalo na kung talagang kayo pala ang mentally 
Naging love topic bigla. Okay, that's the start of a question. Let's see your second question. What do you think about environmental friendly cars? Uh, sa akin po, the, the, ang nasa akin po, yung environmental friendly car, siya nakakatulong para sa environment natin. So, sa tingin ko, mas okay siya kasi hindi na kailangan ng masyadong, uh, hindi na siya nakakasira ng ating kapaligiran at nakakatulong siya sa ating environment. Nababawasan yung mga problem natin dito sa ating mundo. Diba po? <laughs> you know, in Palawan, not only environmental friendly cars, Yeah. Even tricycle, as I remember, Apo. during my time, 2007, no, when I won, I did a billboard in Palawan with Mayor Hagen mm. and it was meron, an electric tricycle. Yes, meron na po dito sa iba-ibang lugar Tutuloy ng Palawan. Na, diba? Opo. Actually, Opo, it was, saya po makita. Yes, it was um, a project together with the, the dad of Gabi Concepcion, Apo. the late uh, dad. Um, he, he passed away after that, but he made that invention, diba? the electric tricycle. Okay. So, very good. Mm. Dito po rin sa amin, uh, yung ibang mga tricycle po namin is electric na kasi nag, ano po yung uh, munisipyo namin sa Brooks Point. Na, dahil environmental ano po kami, so yung tricycle namin is uh, for, karamihan din po is electric tricycle na. That's great! And kasi sa okay. Palawan, ang major way of transportation um okay. is tricycle, di ba? Yes po. <laughs> yeah. Me, cars, it's tricycle talaga, public transportation. Nice! And you have anything you want to share to our um, viewers for tonight? Yeah, thank you po sa lahat na nanonood. At salamat sa mga nagsusuporta sa akin at naniniwala na kaya po to get the crown, especially to my parents and to all the group points. At higit sa lahat, sa lahat ng mga Palawan na indigenous people na laging nakasuporta sa akin. <laughs> And thank you so much for being here with us tonight. We're thank excited you. to see more of you here in your journey. Thank you, Miss Plus Point Palawan Veronica. <laughs> And also thank you to Ever Belena for every beauty. Now let's move on to Miss Carasca Surigal del Sur. Hi, po. Good Hi. Evening. Hi, good evening. Another beautiful hair. Care of oh, thank Hannah, you. <laughs> Straight girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so Crystal, Crystal, no, you are in Surigao. Uh, currently, I'm not. Um, I'm actually here in Manila already doing my training. But yeah, um, I was there a week ago, but currently in Manila now, preparing. I haven't been there, but I really been wanting to go because. It's a surf spot, and I have tried yeah. surfing in Zambales. I know it's way better there too. Um, for more professional surfing, I guess no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yep. no. I'm actually like a beginner kind of surfer. You can also do like longboard surfing. That's easier, and you only need like smaller waves, and you don't have to be like in the deep. You can go like in the shallow waters. Yeah, it works. It's a combination of for beginners and for professionals. It's yeah, a, yeah, you can do both. Yeah, it's safer to do the long work because it doesn't sink. So you float. So it's easier to learn that first. Yeah. I've always been intimidated. I, I do long boards in some balance already. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's great. That's great. You should try Surigao as well. One day, I will contact you. <laughs> Hopefully. I'll be waiting okay. for that. So are you ready for your question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's have your first question coming from... Hi... Kian Liano, how do you protect the Mother Earth if you, if you, when Miss Philippines Earth, sorry, I don't get the question. How do you protect Mother Earth if you were to become the next Miss Philippines Earth? Oh, okay. So yeah, the best thing really for you, uh, this is for Karaska. Oh, oh. that was good to me. I know this person actually. Hmm, okay. I'll ask him later. <laughs> um, <laughs> So for me personally, the best thing that I could do is to actually, I work in the government and the best thing that I could do is to reach out to our leaders to actually become a champion or a voice for these people because we, I, I, I appreciate 
the small um, actions that we do for our environment. But I also believe that unity and as a community, if we make an action all together as one, we create, we create a bigger impact. And with my position in the local government unit, I have a voice that could actually reach out to these leaders, bring about these policies that, you know, that could really help the environment. Because most of the time, the problem is not because they don't care. It's just because they don't know. And we would need someone to bring that um, um, problem or issue towards these leaders so they could actually make actions regarding it. So I think that would be the first thing that I would do. It's, it's nice hearing it from a, a, an official in the government or someone who's working for the government yeah. because, you know, taking care of the environment is really very important. And mm -hmm. then now you have two big platforms, you know, yeah. even if you don't win, actually, you can do a lot of things. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Just being here is already like a, a thing that can, you know, make you um, dependable when it comes to talking about the environment and they would listen they would listen trust me they would right and yeah. of course, especially if you're beautiful they would definitely oh, yeah of course it's an it's a bonus <laughs> <laughs> okay our next question for you is another one from the same person oh, <laughs> why should we choose you from the other contestants I believe that I am unique in my own way. Um, I'm from the province and I don't know if other girls have heard about my play, but girls in my place have dreams like me. And we don't just, this is just, this is, this is not just about publicity. This is not just being uh, like beautiful in front of the stage. This is a dream for us. A dream that has more meaning than just looking beautiful, but rather having a purpose. And I believe that it's a driving force for me that I am joining a pageant, not just for myself, not just for the the people like um, rooting for me, but rather for the hope that we will make, we will be able to take actions to save the future generation. I care for the kids. I really have a huge um, heart and a soft heart for the kids. And I hope that the good things and the beautiful things that I have witnessed and seen in my environment growing up from the province, I hope that these children for the next coming generation will also experience them. So, yeah, I think that's a, that's an edge for me. Very well spoken. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Want to share any message to, especially the one who gave you that question, those questions? Oh, I would like to thank um, Kian. He's very, um, he's a good friend of mine. And he did tell me he asked questions, actually, but I'm grateful that he is curious about these things. And that's okay. That's my answer. And I would like to thank him for, um, um, how to describe this, energizing my mind with these questions I haven't prepared of. And I would also to thank all the Karaskalanans and the whole Surigaldo Sur who are rooting and supporting for me. Thank you very much and we will have a good fight. Definitely. Yeah. I can sense Thank you. Good thank luck you. on your journey. Thank you. All right. Also, the Sun Smart Solar Power Technology living off the grid made possible and now let's call in our next delegate from jones isabella hi miss g good hi. evening everyone how do you pronounce your name gyra J oh gyra oh that's a very unique name Yes. My parents got it from the Bible, actually. Oh, I see. Can you share with us the story of Jairus? It's actually another name of God, which is Jehovah Jireh. And it means fighter. Fighter. Did you say fighter? Provider. A provider. provider. So are you going to provide us with something? <laughs> I will provide not only for my family, but also for the people around me and also to your skin. <laughs> and right now you're providing uh, things to actually help the environment. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, let's have your first question, Jaira. 
So please provide us the answer to this question. <laughs> what makes you feel most seen and understood? For me, I feel most seen and understood when I am doing my purpose in life. It's because just doing the, my purpose in life is what makes me earn that fulfillment of giving out to other people. And through continuous growth and improvement to myself, I believe that that is when I could give to the community that I am in, I am in and to my environment. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I like that answer. And so next question is coming from, from Irene Milan. In your opinion, what are the most effective methods of nature protection and biodiversity currently? I believe that the most effective method for nature protection and biodiversity is the small actions that we take every day. It is not only just planting trees and re reducing the use of plastics, but it is the actions that we take each day, the conscious efforts that we do to help protect and preserve the environment so that our children could have a clean and safe environment to live in in the future. I like when you say conscious effort because yes. honestly, uh, it's yes. so hard to get out of the usual um, uh, like uh, style of like living that we've had like for example on a daily basis we consume a lot of like different trash we we use a lot of plastic we actually do a lot of harmful things for the environment right so changing our ways to the better or making logical choices that and um that needs conscious effort that really needs you know us thinking about the environment every single moment of our day so that whenever we do something that we know it was, you know, how we used to do things and we can do things a different way, then definitely everybody who makes that effort will have a better impact for the environment. And hopefully everybody soon will do the same thing, right? Yes, Ms. G. I love it. You know, ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for this lady. It's very, very witty, very smart. Goodness. Oh, I would like to thank you, thank my fellow Isabelinos for always being there to support me in my journey up until now. And I would also like to thank my family, of course, and my friends and my team for supporting me, for doing the things that I cannot do myself and that is why I'm here now because of them and for my fellow Isabelinos too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Jodi Isabella. Please watch her on her journey here in this competition. Also to Alberto Shoes, the official heels provider of Miss Philippines Earth. I also want to do a shout out to France Ivan. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments. I'm waiting one of Mars Jean. And also shout out to Dr. Alan Quison. Oh my goodness. You guys are amazing audience. And there is a question here from Mark Gerald. Please let me know who you want to answer this question. I will I think we still have a little bit of time. Please confirm with me, Carousel Productions, if we can answer this question. Let me know, Mark, for who? Okay, because we only have seven ladies for tonight, which means we have a little bit more time. Okay, now moving on to Miss Puerto Princesa City. Hi, hello everyone. Hello, Miss Jean. Hello, Jemima. Yes, Puerto Princesa. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love Palawan so much. Yay! We love the princesa a lot of times. We made a hockey dance there, yes? Yes, yes. Oh. And I did the Pista Ikagiban. I planted trees. Yes. It's our piece of the forest. So it's the our part of, it's part of our culture here in Puerto Princesa. 
Yes, and that's why I super love our pageant because I was able to travel and make a difference while traveling and see the beauty of our nature and helping the environment while doing that. So you ladies are in for a lot of great adventures in your journey. <laughs> are you excited for the pageant? Yes, and for the new learnings and experience that this will uh, offer me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, you'll have a lot and a lot of great memories with this beautiful bunch of ladies that you have over here. Now, let's see your first question. Oh God. <laughs> okay, from Villanueva Butch. Is the implementation of sustainability development goals or SDGs are becoming increasingly successful or not? Okay, thank you. Um, for me, I think for well, as of now, we are making efforts every day, um, individually and collectively. I believe we are getting to that point that we are all aware of the environmental issues and continually, we are all continually getting aware of these issues such as uh, in ways such as this by including um, using these platforms to open up the topics, the issues like in pageant. So I think um, I cannot say that if it is 100% successful already, but I think we are doing already great enough to help the environment, but we still have a room for more. So we can still have our own um, individual responsibility in helping our environment. So that's it. <laughs> And, and I think it's good that we have efforts like this, you know, um, yeah. sustainability development goals. And mm -hmm. I believe that progress should always be there. It will always be there. We want to progress and improve. Yes. But sustainable development is really the key to balance of right, the environment and the improvement of our place. Yes, I agree with you. Next question is... <laughs> the next question is coming from Oh, Kyle Yano oh, as, as well. <laughs> Are you friends with him as well? Because you're both no. from home? Uh, okay. hindi naman po. Hindi naman po. Pero same question po, no? Um, okay. Oh, man, no. <laughs> question from the guy. Okay. Anyway, you can... I'll, I'll answer. So, I think to answer this question, I think it, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, you don't have to choose me, I think, for me. You don't have to choose me. I just have to do my part, and that will be enough for me. I I would just love to offer what I could offer, what I could bring to the table, and that would make me happy. I think that um, what's more important is not when people choose you, but when you choose yourself and you make your own decisions of helping Mother Earth and others. So that's it for me. I love that. And there's a question here. Would you like to answer this? Because you answered the same question as the other one. I'll see. I'll try. <laughs> okay. The question is, how do you believe that the Miss Earth organization can leverage its platform to effectively address the pressing issues of global warming, climate change, and natural disasters on a global scale? And what specific steps would you propose to make a meaningful impact in this area? Wow, that was a tough one. <laughs> but I'll, question. Yes, but I'll try. So I think Miss Philippines Earth um, is already a good initiative in spreading awareness and encouraging the people and our uh, and the government maybe to um, to really level up uh, what we do for the environment. So for me, um, it's already enough. I think we're doing our part to showcase the ways, uh, the issues that needs to be discussed or to, that needs to be brought up. So for now, I I, I should say that uh, it's enough for me and we still have um, time and um, opportunity to learn more to improve in what we do. Individually. You know what I think? Everybody can just go to the Facebook page of Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth, mm -hmm. and it's already there. Like yes. <laughs> all it's your videos, already a good impact. and it's, it's already a global scale too, because anybody yes. from different parts of the world can actually see that. 
Yes. Only so, for Miss Earth because it's a global audience. <laughs> yes. Right. So right. <laughs> so actually, you, you ladies being here makes a whole lot of difference already. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Miss Puerto Princesa. Jemima Joy Zabalia. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Jean. Thank you, everyone. Thank you also to Team Lumina and of course our major sponsor, again, Hana Shampoo. Now moving on to Miss the Gig City. Hi. Hi, Miss Jean. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great time tonight. I am having a great time with that energy. <laughs> energy. <laughs> so, so okay, you are already in the city. You're already in the gig. I am. Yes. How's... I was born and raised in the gig. <laughs> I see. But are you mixed something? Because you look a little bit uh, mixed. Actually, I get that question a lot. But believe it or not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm 100% Filipino. I see. And have you been training yourself for the past couple of weeks, months already? I've been training myself for the past weeks. Um, to be honest, I'm not really a pageant girl. This is my first pageant ever. So I'm very wow. excited for it. Yeah. You look really excited. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready for your first question. Super ready, yes. <laughs> Great. Okay, here you go. Coming from Ayoneza, what is a skill you'd like to learn and why? My um, my background is in project management, so I'm an architect. If there's any skill that I'd like to learn more of, it's definitely negotiation skills. Especially if I'm going to represent Miss Earth as an organization, I will want to sit down with policymakers just to make sure that our message can be can reach more audience so definitely negotiation skills i love that definitely you need that because if you really want to make a change you really have to negotiate that definitely with people. and i like what you said that it's you know talking to these political people because they're the ones in power so yes right track <laughs> yep community and politics go hand in hand in take in making a change in the environment right right okay i think you're ready for your next question <laughs> from c c uh southeast asia pageantry how do you feel when you hear about global warming is there hope for the future okay so when i hear about global warming there's a little bit of anxiety to be honest if um, if I hear the word, it's like, oh no, how about the, my children? How about the children of my children? How are they going to face this future? But you know what, Miss Jean? Um, so I have an NGO with my friends called Feeding Change Philippines. Sorry, what's that so again? What we is, um, we, I have an NGO with my friends called Feeding Change Philippines. Feeding so Change. What, yes. So you can, sorry, shameless plug, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so what we do is we go to hard to reach areas in the Philippines to help um, communities. So what I learned about about um, working in this organization is that there are always people willing to help. And this is the sole reason why I refuse to lose hope in the future, because there will always be people who would help and it just brings me so much hope. I'm checking it out right now and I'm gonna follow it right now. Like <laughs> Thank you so much. You change Philippines and I like your address. Yes. Wow, you have a lot going on here. Yeah, it's actually our fifth year anniversary this coming April. So wow. if anyone wants to volunteer with us, you know, just reach out. And it's not just feeding people, it's also it's not environmental yes. activities that you guys are doing here amazing yeah yeah we have like so many sectors so our tagline is hand in hand we can feed change to the philippines i hope i can join one of your activities someday yes definitely please do <laughs> just follow you <laughs> thank you so much you wanna, you. you wanna share anything else to you, the people here in the chat area the comment area 
Yeah, so I just want to thank I just want to thank the whole city of the gig. Never in my journey has I have I ever felt alone because of all the support that I've been getting, especially for Mayor Lani and my stylist Miss A Couture, my makeup artist Joseph Madrid, and my whole team. To be honest, it's my journey definitely is so much smoother because of all the people I'm surrounded with. And it takes a village to actually have a queen. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Thank you so much, Mr. Gig, and good luck in your Thank journey. You. Thank you so much. Thank you also to Gibaras, Award Extremes Incorporated, and BW Super Big Shop. And now let's have Miss Toledo City. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hi, Miss Jean. Hello. Good evening, Athena Auxilio. Hello. How are you? And uh, what are you doing currently? Are you studying? Are you working? Yes, I actually came from school. I just fixed myself like right away for this interview. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> currently what are, you, what are you taking up and what year level? Oh, I'm a shifty, so a first year psychology student in USC in Cebu. USC? Yeah. Yes, yes. USC, University of San Carlos. Yes, yes. See. I know your school because I hosted there, like I said the other time. So there's a oh. lot of Cebuana snow for this batch. Hmm. I guess, yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for your first question? Yes, I am. Here we go. Coming from, I hope I can read the name. <laughs> Ron Marana and Seven. Summer is fast approaching these following months what will be your best move to fight heat heat waves or heat waves yeah I like this question. um okay so yes indeed summer is fast approaching and i feel like one of the best move to fight heat waves is to drink our very delicious drinks like cold drinks beverages that allows us to cool down in the summer heat and also i just want to add um, uh, we should always learn to protect our skin by putting on sunscreen because um, the sunlight is harmful to our skins and i feel like we should always be mindful for that because in the future we will regret not putting on sunscreen now <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it. Yes, of course, hydration and sunblock. That's yeah. the two things. Very easy, but sometimes I forget also my sunblock. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> Me too, actually. Nowadays, I see that the water bottles are everywhere. So, yeah. I actually bring water bottles. I always bring mine, and I lost mine just earlier, but I still have extras. But you know, um, having a water bottle on hand, it's yeah. actually better for the environment and better for your health. Yeah, right? that's true. Instead of getting all the plastic bottles right? whenever we're thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> after, after our next question, what qualities about yourself are you most grateful for? Again, from Kylie. Um, I feel like the qualities that I'm grateful for is the fact that I am very much confident about myself although it took me a while to get this far or to get to who I am today but having the confidence allows me to be a role model to my community to my few uh, fellow youths and it allows me to join these kinds of pageants to find my purpose in the community and it allows me to really um, and explore to the different issues and uh, bring action to the different um, areas that are needed to be taken action for and I feel like that is one of the most things that I'm grateful for for myself. Thank you. And I'm grateful for those as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next question is... <laughs> oh sorry, that's already two questions. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I got carried away because I love listening to your answer. Ms. Toledo, <laughs> do you want to share anything else, um, any message to, to anybody? Uh, I actually want to thank the LGU of Toledo City 
most especially our mayor Joy Perales for picking me to be the representative of our hometown Tolada City and also to my manager Stacy Avila Lauren for guiding me throughout the competition and of course my school for allowing me to balance my passion and also my career in psychology and of course my mom for providing me this outfit and this earrings <laughs> and to my family and friends for the never-ending support that's it <laughs> You know what I love about beauty pageants is that there's a lot of people that talagang, you know, brings a lot of like help and contribution to, to, yeah, to just one that's person. That's true. It fills our hearts whenever we get all those blessings from other people. So yeah, yeah. enjoy. Enjoy this journey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Toledo City, ladies and gentlemen. And to Peter Ricky. Ramirez Abad, hello. Ricky Abad, our um, stylist, fashion designer for the swimsuit, official swimsuit of Miss Philippines or the Miss Earth. Hello, hello, Ivan. Hello to everybody watching us. I don't know why I cannot see the other comments, the past comments anymore. I think I'll have to reboot this live on my phone. But also, thank you so much to Janssen Cosmetic Surgery Manila. And now let's have our last but not the least lady for tonight coming all the way from Tungawan, Zamboanga, Zibugay. Hi, hello Miss Jean and to everybody here on the Zoom and of course to my friends and family who are watching this live. Good evening. Good evening Miss Queen Zell. Wow, you look like yes, a well. queen already. Oh, thank you Miss Jean. I love the background. Are those, is that flower? Three trees, right? Yes, Paul. My team really prepared for this Zoom meeting. I told them that we can be casual, but they really prepared for this, for just for this evening. I'm so sorry because I really love the background. What are those li those lights? Those are combination of lights that you have. Yes, the RG uh, RGB lights, Paul. And then you you just put like a, a design on top of yes, it. Paul. Yes, Paul, on the background. Oh, nice. I, yes, Paul. Wow, amazing. So yeah, thank you so much with Prince Production for preparing my everything for the setup, for the studio, and for the beautiful background. Shout out to your production team. Really good job. Congratulations. So continue doing that during this competition. Well, actually, you're going to have more face-to-face -face in the future. But ladies and gentlemen, for those who are wondering, we are just doing this for now, some of the ladies are still coming in Manila. That's why I keep on asking, where are you at right now? Because I'm really curious lang where you guys are. Are you still in Zamboanga? Yes, po. I'm still in Zamboanga, Sibugay, Miss Jean. Okay, bring me some durian, uh, rambutan, lanzones when you arrive. No. <laughs> yes, po. I think durian because it's not yeah, it's not yet lanzones season here. So I think I can bring durian. Um, I'm going to love you, no, but... That's frozen, ah. It should be frozen because I bought before in a in a factory, you know, not a factory. It's a farm that has frozen durian. It's so, oh. so good. Yeah. Anyway, are you ready for your question? I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have your first question. From here at GRC, as an eco warrior, how can you protect and help make nature even more beautiful like you? So as an eco-warrior and as an educator, there's a lot of things that I wish to provide for our environment. So I, uh, since I was listening a while ago to my Earth uh, Echo Earth Warriors earlier during the interview, I have heard that they also would like to make our environment or our nature more beautiful. So as for me, just by simply um, using echo bags, um, planting more trees and flowers, Actually, the pandemic was an eye-opener. It actually uh, gave a chance for the mother nature to breathe. And it actually opened my eyes and my senses to plant more trees, to always take care of our environment, um, you know, collecting garbage uh, that can actually add um, dirt or that can make our nature um, not easy to breathe or uh, to take away the toxicity for our nature. So that's it. Very well said, Mr. Mawar. And now let's have your last question. 
And this is the last question for tonight, guys, unless you guys want to ask her more. From Elmer Mondere, how are you going to promote our country to tourist people without disrupting the environment? All right, so thank you, Sir Elmer Mondere, for the question. So Miss Earth, Miss Philippines Earth, is a very beautiful platform that I can actually um, endorse our environment or promote our country, the Philippines. So by participating in this, I was able to um, promote or develop my skills and to promote not only the Tungawan, Zambonga Sibugay, but also the entire Philippines, not only in the national aspect, but also in the international stage. So through social media, which is very rampant today, and with very good digital resources, I believe that I can be able to promote our tourism. And of course, by showing the beautiful people of the Philippines, the Filipinos, no? It's actually a uh, hand-in-hand work in order to make our country um, recognizable globally. And you know what I like about what you said? It is true. I mean, social media is a powerful tool yes. to promote our country, yes. your place, your hometown, and also promoting how we can stop hurting the environment some more. Because right now, honestly, um, a lot of efforts, when I travel in different parts of our, our provinces, there's a lot of uh, efforts to, to to stop hurting the environment. Yes. Because before, you can just throw your trash anywhere. Um, now, it's like there's a lot of things that you cannot do. Even getting sand, getting um, animals, you know, right? Now, yes. there's a lot of things yeah. that you cannot do. So, yes, just- also, I, would, I would like to insert and take this opportunity to promote my page as well. This is Base for Zambonga Sibugay. We actually do... Um, Rescue for animals. Yes, po. Bliss po. Bliss po, Zamboanga, Sibugay. Bliss. So, yes, po. Bliss po. So, this is actually a first in Zamboanga, Sibugay, wherein me and my friends uh, in the Pro Life UK, since I am also a financial advisor, they actually helped me to create this page and be rescue spray animals in the area. And of course, to uh, rehabilitate and rehome so that they can, you know, uh, go to their forever homes. I love that initiative. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, please, please do give it a follow. Blispo, B-L-I-S-S-O. B-A-W. You, out, pow, pow. Okay, yes. pow. All right. Nice. And um, beautiful advocacy, beautiful things that you g- girls are doing at such a young age. And I am excited to see your journey in this competition. So good luck. Um, Thank you. Before, you. before I let you go, any message for... Well, you said a little bit of a uh, message for your team, but anybody else you want to thank for tonight? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So for now, I have actually my friends here in the studio. <laughs> so um, my makeup artist, Earl Jan de la Cruz, to the tourism officers, um, I'm Sarah Mee and Sir Kenneth, and of course to the LG headed by our very handsome and hands-on mayor, Yormi Carlnan Klimakod, and also to my um, very beautiful sponsors, major sponsors, Dr. Marley Tamano Hasim, and the entire province of Zamboanga, Sibugay, led by Governor Anke Hoffer. So thank you very much, everyone, to my family and to everyone who's been supporting my journey for Miss Philippines Earth. Thank you, thank you so much. And we're so happy Thank you also for those watching us, giving a shout out to Miss Joy Caralde is watching us tonight. Hello, hello to you. And thank you also to King Poo Express, Mr. Hong's Unlimited Sangyup Sal, Piggy Papa as well for sponsoring Miss Philippines Earth 2023. And there you have it, friends. You'll be seeing more from these ladies in the coming weeks, so be sure to follow their journey towards the crown of Miss Philippines Earth. Let us know what you think by following and sub- subscribing to our social media accounts at Miss Phil Earth on IG, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. You can also catch all the stunning Miss Philippines Earth 2023 delegates as they visit the fruit and vegetable basket of Mindanao, the province of Bukidnon, on April 18 to 20 for their talent competition. I super love this activity. Now. Also, we want to say a big thank you to our major sponsor, Hana Shampoo. Woo! Thank you, thank you so much. 
sway that youthful looking hair with new Hana shampoo with Collagen Plus. Join us again tomorrow as we see the last batch of ladies, March 23 at 8 p.m., same place for the preliminary judging of intelligence and environmental awareness. You know, we have a lot of things or exciting events lined up leading to the grand coronation happening very, very soon. So be sure to get updated with the latest happenings on Miss Philippines Earth 2023. On behalf of Carousel Productions, this has been Jean Horn thanking you all very much for joining us and let's continue to save our planet. Happy International Forest Day! Good night!